Hey, it's Mr. Peace. Just got done speaking at Nativity Catholic School here in Burke, Virginia. Uh, great day with the kindergarten through eighth grade. Uh, the focus for the younger students, K through three, was on anti-bullying, looking at somebody's heart first, just like 1 Samuel 16, 7 says that man, woman, all of us, many times look on the outside, the outward appearance, but God always looks at the heart, our heart as big as our fist. And if we can let that love in, fully enter our heart, right, and let Christ fully heal our hearts, and we can turn that into this peace sign where one finger is yourself and the other is someone you're trying to lift up higher than yourself. And I love the mantra, part of the motto here at Nativity that talks about leading the way to Christ. And we do that by shining his light and by really showing people our hearts, you know, seeing their heart first like you see your own best friend, uh, treating people like human beings before anything else. And then eventually we lift them up higher than ourselves through our actions, through our words. And just like Ephesians says that we don't want any bad talk to come out of our mouths and our tongues, but only words and actions really that are going to build somebody else up, right? And we have that power and influence to either build up or tear down. And hopefully we're going to build them up, right? So again, it was an honor to share with everybody here about that. And then we also spoke on, in the gym over here, uh, keeping your head up. And the second talk for the grades four through eight being about positive life choices, being the best version of ourselves, right? So like the shirt has here that I wear, part of my motivation is to keep your head up even when we look down or feel down or are going through a really tough challenge, something that we think is impossible, that if we put our trust and our faith into God, we can make it through anything, right? Despite that suffering, despite the struggle, that sometimes that struggle has to happen in order for us to finally break through and actually succeed. And so I also talked about how the opposite of success is not failure, uh, but quitting, giving up. And so many times we think if we fail once or make a mistake once, that that makes us a failure or that we're a mistake, but it's so far from the truth, right? that God really wants us to believe in ourselves and our own abilities. And once we do, then we help others hopefully believe in them, in themselves as well, be the light to their hearts. And all this tied back together starts with knowing our worth, realizing our value, that all of us have the letter M on our palms with the lines of each of our hands. Isaiah 49 says, I have engraved you on the palm of my hands, right? And this is proof that we're all miracles, M for miracle, W upside down, W for worthy, that we're worthy of love to give it and receive it. And once we've truly believed that and buy into that, that we are good enough, then we help others see that they're great enough too, right? Show them the kindness, show them the compassion. First, it's the self-love to us, making that positive choice. And then going out and showing that love to others. So thanks for touching my heart. You guys are beautiful. Hope to see you again in the future. Until then, keep spreading the love, keep spreading the kindness and respect. Much love. Peace.